up y'all it's your girl lady savage and i am back at it again with an unexpected video well i bet y'all wasn't ready for me to say that hmm please excuse how i look i definitely came to the store just to grab some soil um but there was not a wide variety so you all know how your girl loves to check out the clearance section so i couldn't resist i came across some huge deals you guys and why not put harvest season on like what yeah had to put you guys on so i'm making this video and yeah thank me later <laughs> so if you tuned into my video from last year you all know that i came and got some marigolds this time they have the african marigolds they have what is this Mandy Villa Reds, Metrolinas. Yeah, so these are all pollinators, y'all. Like I said, these are great pollinators for, see, we had the marigold last grow season because they will attract things that will pollinate your grow bag. So sometimes if you're having trouble, with getting those things pollinated, you have to have attractors. And I won't even say sometimes, it's recommended that you have some pollinators um, in your garden. Oh, they have some daisies. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. And of course, while I try to be gray, it starts to rain. So I am going to make this quick, you guys, but I have been talking about wanting a apple tree. And if you know, you know, apple trees are, they can be pricey. Um, and I, you know, I'm growing from a container garden, so I don't do anything in ground. However, I was walking about and I ran into an apple tree. Uh, you guys, an apple tree. And there's actual apples on it. Oh my goodness. Is this my sign to get an apple tree? Y'all won't, you guys will not guess how much these cost. Hope you didn't see the sign already, but put in your guesses right now before I let you guys know, before I do the big price reveal, put it in your, put it, put it in the comments, drop it down below, drop it down below. Y'all, the apple trees are $15, $15, that's insane, that's insane. Shout out to Walmart. All right, so they have some strawberry plants as well, but this is not really on clearance. $17.97, I think that they can do way better considering how bad some of these look, but it's all right. I'm gonna let them do their thing and we may be back once the price is right. They have tomatoes, they have tomato plants. Look at the tomatoes growing in there. Oh my gosh. If you guys watched my last grow season, I grew, I grew some tomatoes and they looked exactly like this. So cute. Check that video out. That was a great experience and we're actually doing that again this year. So I will not be buying any of these. We're gonna start those from seed. So they have the tomato plants and I'm gonna move quick because it's starting to rain. Ah. Okay, but listen. I just had to let you guys know about these babies. $7 for bean plants and they already have beans on them. Oh my gosh, okay, sorry, the rain is going in. Ah, it's going crazy, y'all, we gotta go. We're going inside, I'll catch y'all inside. Oh no, I'm glad I got out when I did. <laughs> that rain is starting, but I'm so glad I got a chance to show you guys the prices. I could not resist the price point of this snap pea plant. And they already have, or the bean plant, $7. And there's already P 
keys on here, you guys. This is a super, super good um, container. I'm not sure how big they are. I'm gonna do my research. Typically when I'm growing something, I will research it. So that way I know how they grow. Clearly it needs support because the beans will get heavy. However, I think that I should be snapping a lot of these off already. So we are going to get these, this plant here. I'm so excited. And yeah, stay tuned to see how everything turns out with it. All right, so your girl made it back to the car. As y'all can see, the rain is really raining, but we, we had to do our thing. So I wanted to give you guys an update on the original price of the bean plant. So it was originally $18 and we got it for seven. So shout out to Walmart. Like I said, I love a good sale, love the clearance section. You just never know. You can bring stuff back to life. You can try something you never tried before. The sky is the limit. I usually grow things from seed. However, if I catch it on the clearance section, we're gonna give it a go. If anybody out there has grown bean plants from seed, or if you got them already as a plant, let me know. Give me some suggestions down in the, in the comment section, what I need to do, any tips I need to take. I also wanted to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. Woo! shout out to you guys thank you so much for subscribing to the channel i really appreciate all the support this far shout out to my day one subscribers shout out to y'all listen we are growing you guys our plants are growing everything is growing <laughs> so i just really appreciate all the support i'm so happy that i was able to make this video for you guys if you have a walmart near you don't walk, run, don't run, drive, drive. Y'all thought I was gonna say, don't drive speed. No, 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 no. I wasn't gonna say that because I need y'all to be safe, okay? But shout out to Walmart. I didn't have my soil, but it's okay. I didn't leave empty handed. But if you made it this far in this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And I truly hope that you all have a great day. Keep growing. Stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you turn on those post notifications because your girl is about to plant the last bit of seeds for this grow season. Super duper excited. I have so many things to grow and yeah. All right, it's time for me to get home. See y'all later. Peace. This is the next day. Yesterday, I took y'all to Walmart with me to see all of the clearance items. Shout out to the markdowns. We love the discounts, okay? But I wanted to show you guys because this plant here was the beans and it already had beans on there. I did some research because this is my first time growing the beans and they said not to let your beans mature too much. So I wanted to go ahead and pull the bigger ones off early and I'm eating for dinner tonight. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys how to snap them off because while doing research, they made it very obvious that you don't want to snap them off just like down here. For instance, let's say do this. Don't want to snap them like that because you don't want to leave the parts of the green bean on here. So you want to hold the root or not root, you want to hold the stem and pop it off from the top so that there's nothing left all right let me show you guys with another one hold the stem pop it off um there's some big ones in there do y'all see that seven dollars and i'm sure that there's going to be more we're going to give this plant some tlc and allow it to keep growing oh look at this uh -huh. jackpot <laughs> <laughs> all right pop it off stem pop it off stem try to get fancy and twisted let's see eh, that's still left a little bit of the bean so maybe not that and actually they did say scissors might be helpful as well which i see that they may i'll come back and clip that off but if you don't have scissors or anything to 
take them off, you can definitely just pluck it and it's good to go. All right. So we had to bring the party inside because the mosquitoes were tearing me up. But this is the finished product, you all. This is our first harvest from our $7 discounted plant from Walmart. Super excited to see how they taste. Something about fresh vegetables and fruits that just hits different. <laughs> 